All right, the time has come to deal with Grizz. This guy is a menace to the time continuum, not to mention the arts. And it's time to shut him and his counterfeit cave painting production down. It appears he's already beefed up security, so he's probably expecting us. But thanks to Carmelita, we have complete schematics of his mountain base. So once we get inside, I'll be able to target the egg vats and make sure they're scrambled. Just a little egg humor. <laughs> Next, Bob, you'll need to climb the main generator tower and pry the pressure valves open to completely disrupt power. That should start a fatal chain reaction in the system. Murray, at this point, you'll have to get to the master control panel and make sure no one can reset the system before the damage is done. Of course, you'll need to use your pugilistic skills on any guards that might get in your way. After this, the system will be completely disabled and we can do a little bear hunting. Sly, it'll be your job to take down Grizz when we find him. Well, that's the plan. You should all be clear on what needs to be done, so let's get out there and put this bear on ice. Okay, this is our ticket inside. Carmelita, you'll be riding with Murray. Sly, you're with Bob and myself. Carmelita, are you sure you'll be all right? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? Well, I wouldn't want you to catch cold or something, sitting in that other car. Don't worry, Ringtail. I have my shock pistol to keep me warm. This is my stop. I need to destroy those egg vats and then make my way to the rendezvous point. Keep your communication channel open. I'll see you all later. Okay, Bentley. Just watch your step. Always, Sly. Always. Excellent! That's one bad down. Now that's what I call an extreme malfunction. <laughs> There's the tower, Bob! You'll need to find the valve covers and pry them loose to disrupt the power output. Yes, it is a dangerous climb, but if anyone can do it, you can. Right, see you at the top. Good luck. Oh, Murray leaves no man behind! Murray, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'll find you guys after I figure out how to get off this crazy thing. Right, we've got another problem. Okay. We needed Murray to cover that control panel, but he's gone. If that guard resets the system, not only will this mission be a failure, but we'll be sitting ducks. Bad. A little sloppy, though, don't you think? Hey, that was almost a compliment. I'll take it. Way to hustle, Sly! Thanks. Now let's go find Murray. Man! I knew I should have made that left turn! <laughs> it's gonna be nice, like sugar and spice, when I put that Koopa gang on ice. Riz? No way I'm letting this chump get away! Bombs away! The Murray's got a beef with you, punk! Murray, we have to help him! Wait a sec, guys. Murray can handle this. What? Yeah, it's okay. Bentley's right. My money's on the hippo. Oh, snap! What have we here? It's a pink nightmare! Trust me, pal! You ain't dreaming! I'm tired of you Cooper chumps, the paradox, everybody. All I ever really wanted to do is skate. That's right. Uh, okay? No, 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 it ain't okay. You know why the Grizz love skating? It's clean, man. It's like just me and the ice. No complications, no hassles, no worries. Ever since I was a little kid, a little cub, it's the only time I truly feel free. And now, 
you Koopa punks roll in and you gonna spoil my dream? Well, it ain't going down like that. You better check the script, that man, cause the Grizz is about to show you how to skate top. No way you can copy the Grizz. You can't do what I do. Oh, no, you didn't. Nice moves, Murray. You were great. That performance was definitely a 10, pal. Murray. Thanks, guys. I guess this makes up for all my screw-ups lately. Murray, we all make mistakes. It happens. But it doesn't matter because we're a team and we all have each other's backs. That's why we're unbeatable. Yeah, what he said. Today, you were the hero, Murray. And don't you forget it. Aw, shucks. Hey, I'm starved. Anybody bring anything to eat? French fries, pizza, anything? An apple, even? Carmelita had cooled off a bit, but she hadn't forgiven me yet, and I really couldn't blame her. The last thing she wanted to do was join up with a bunch of thieves, something that went against everything she stood for. I could tell it was a tough decision, but in the end, she knew it was probably her only shot at busting the paradox. Dimitri was happy to finally hear from us, as he'd been worried his bros were warping their faces off, whatever that meant. He pointed us to our next destination, medieval England, and as it turned out, Grizz's crown was the perfect object to get us there. So although we'd only uncovered this Ice Age scheme by accident, luck was definitely on our side. And we left in a confident mood, ready to tackle whatever fate had in store for us. We'd come to merry old England to locate my ancestor, Sir Galleth Cooper, a gallant knight who founded the Cooper Order. Unfortunately, what we found was anything but regal. Sir Galleth had been reduced to performing in a local circus as a jester, complete with ridiculous costume. The villainous stench of Le Paradox hung over the entire area. We didn't know what was going on yet, but we knew it wasn't good. To make matters worse, we still had no information about Penelope. Bentley wasn't letting it show, but I knew deep down he was pretty worried. Hopefully we would find some answers soon. But first, we had to go to the circus. <laughs> 